Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today we're going to learn about SQL's order by clause, which you can use to sort your search results. Some of the objectives for today's lessons are to learn how to sort on one column in either ascending or descending order, being able to sort on two or more columns, being able to sort on a calculated field, and also being able to limit our query to a specified number of search um, results. So once you've gone through this uh, this uh, lesson, I'd also like you to do the exercises at the end because there's nothing um, better way of learning than getting a little reinforcement from some self-study. So with that, let's begin. I'm going to start up Essential SQL here, get into uh, SQL Lite, and uh, I'm going to bring in my first search query so we can uh, start learning. So. The new thing we're looking at here is the order by clause. So if you look at our statement, most of this is familiar. We have select what columns we want to select from the table we are selecting data from. And then the new element is the order by clause. And here you can see we're ordering by last name. So what this statement is really saying is, is please give me the first and last name from the employees table ordered by last name. I'm going to put the semicolon on this and hit enter. And you can see it sorted our results in ascending order by last name. Now this statement is the same as essentially me putting in um, an ascending clause on the end, which is, let me paste this in here. It's like saying, order by last name ascending. ASC stands for ascending. And as you can see the results are the same. Now I can also do the opposite. I can also sort this in descending order. Let me grab my query to show you that. So in this case, the DESC stands for descending, which means go from biggest biggest to smallest and when I run this you're gonna see it's gonna um, essentially give me back my rows as White, Smith, Lee, and Baker and there that is White, Smith, Lee, and Baker. So I also can combine these together and sort by more than one column and to do this I'm gonna to go to a, a table that has more results we're gonna use uh, the order details table and let me get my example here and essentially to order by more than one column, we just specify the columns with commas, much like when we do a select and we want to see more than one column, we say like product ID, quantity, and unit price, I can order by more than one column by separating them with a comma. So in this case, excuse me, I'm going to see uh, essentially the products listed in quantity, so quantities go up, and then within the quantity, you'll see that the un unit prices increase. So you can see here in, in the 20s, I have it going from 25 cents, dollar 10. Um, good, better example might be here um, with a price of 30. It's 25 cents, dollar 10, dollar 10, then five dollars. Like uh, single columns I can either specify ascending and descending I can also do that when I'm doing multiple columns so here let's take our order details and sort it in two different directions so I'm going to paste this in and now we're going to send uh, basically sort our unit price in descending order so if we look at the quantities of 20 I'm going to see them starting at a dollar 10 and then going back to 25 let me just show you that here. So here you see that we have quantity for 20. It starts at $1.10, $1.10, then drops to $0.25. Cents. Um, same thing for quantity of 30. It's going from 50 to $1.10, $1.10, 25. So the quantities are ascending in value, yet within a quantity, the prices are descending in value. All right? So another thing you can do with uh, sorting is sort on a calculated value. For instance, rather than sorting on quantity and unit price, what happens if I want to sort on the total price? As you recall from our prior tutorial, we calculate the total price by 
times in quantity times unit price. So I've constructed a query that shows you just that. Let me bring this one in. And as I paste it in, you can see I'm selecting the same columns, product ID, quantity, unit price from the order details table. Yet now we're going to order by unit price, which is um, and quantity for the total price. And here you see that they sorted. You can you can tell they sorted because they're kind of in random order. Unfortunately, we don't know what we sorted by. Let's clarify that. Let's, let's actually output the total price so we can see what the sort actually looks like. So I'm going to bring in another example here. And here you see uh, a familiar query where we're basically calculating the total price as unit price times quantity as total price from the order details. And we're ordering by unit price. Um, and when I hit enter here, you can see now we have in ascending order total price. This got cut off a little in a wrap. So I'm going to uh, widen my uh, properties here real quick so that we are able to uh, see it without it wrapping, all right? So to take this further, since I have this alias by total price, I can change my order by to actually be the alias. So this makes the, uh, let's see this query statement much simpler to manage as well as in my mind, uh, makes it a little more robust. For instance, if we had to change our, our total price because we added, um, let's say, a sales tax to it, or we added a slight discount, we'd only want to change the formula in one place. And by aliasing, we can change the formula in the uh, select statement for the column, and then by referring to total price in the order by, we don't have to then go back there and you know change the formula of, uh, to reflect how we would sort it. Just by referring to the alias takes care of it. So let's see how this pans out. And as you can see, it sorts the same. So bottom line is, is that if you alias a column when you're selecting it, you can use that alias to sort by. The last concept I want to introduce is what's called a limit. A limit essentially allows you to restrict the number of rows that are returned from the sorted result set. So in our case here, if we wanted to, we could limit our sales to the five least expensive um, orders or total price. And by to do so, I would essentially use this limit statement, which I'll explain. So I'm going to order by total price, and then I'm going to limit to five. And what that should bring back then is really just five, five, seventy, seven dollars and fifty cents, the ten, and then ten. See if this happens. As you can see, that it does so. So a logical question might be is like, well, what are my top five sales? Well, to do that, I need to kind of flip the result set over, and to do so, we use the descending qualifier on the order by. If we get things in descending order, then we limit by five. In fact, we're getting the top five sales. I don't know if I have a preset query for that one. I don't. So let's um, let's just do that by actually. Let me. Uh, I'm going to edit it in my editor real quick. So I'd say order by total price, and I'd say descending. I'm going to copy this in real quick here. hit paste and I get the top five pretty cool huh all right so why don't you check out the exercises in the blog work on them and then in the next video I will give you the answers take care